The 2023 Honda Accord has been freshly redesigned with everything better than its predecessor. With perfect hybrid options and several other improvements, it stands out in the competitive class of midsize sedans. With its own previous models being the biggest competition, the 2023 model had to do even better. And we all know that that wouldn't have been easy. So what about this 2023 Accord makes it so popular? Let's start with the most important factor for many, the engine and performance. We love a lineup with several options, and the new Accord serves six trim levels to choose from. And guess what? The new Accord features a new drivetrain, as well as some outstanding new tech advancements that ultimately makes it better than the previous models. Let's talk about the base models LX and EX first. A turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine powers both these trims producing 192 horsepower and 232 pound-feet of torque. Not to mention, since both trims share the same engine, both take a respectable 7.4 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. If you forgot your morning coffee, it's certainly fast enough to wake you up in the morning. However, there is one thing that you should know. Unlike the previous generation, the 2023 model doesn't actually feature the all-wheel drive system. Instead, the LX and EX drive the front wheels through a CVT. Moving up the trim levels, the new Accord has a hybrid powertrain, consisting of the Sport, EXL, Sport L, and Touring models. These hybrid models are all powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, as well as two electric motors. The 2-liter engine and the electric motors produce 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. And with that, the 0 to 60 time improves by 0.8 seconds when you upgrade to the hybrid models, as it takes just 6.6 .6 seconds. That's hot hatch territory. In addition to the upgraded engines, there are other exciting things that you must know about. The company has confirmed that the new Accord has improved suspension and steering in order to improve the handling. That's a good advancement, to be honest, especially when we're speaking of a family car. So far, when compared to the already excellent previous models, the new Accord is somehow even better. With precise steering and good body control, the 2024 Accord offers a pretty smooth ride. But wait, there's a lot more. Firstly, you must hear about the incredible fuel economy. For the hybrid models, the values are pretty satisfying. The 2023 Accord Hybrid is good for 51 miles per gallon in the city and 48 miles per gallon on the highway. The Camry offers an EPA value of 51 miles per gallon in the city and 53 miles per gallon on the highway, while the combined EPA value is about 52 miles per gallon, which obviously is better than the 2023 Accord. When compared to the 2023 Toyota Camry Hybrid powertrain, the EPA is slightly lower, but that isn't because the Accord is bad, Instead, it shows just how good the Camry is. However, the Accord's EPA value has actually improved by 16% with this 2023 generation, since the previous generation's hybrid model had an EPA rating of 44 miles per gallon in the city and 41 miles per gallon on the highway. Now, if we talk about the non-hybrid models, including the LX and EX, the 2023 Accord has a rating of 29 miles per gallon in the city and 37 miles per gallon on the highway. That's kind of a drop in fuel economy because the previous generation offered 30 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway. But we believe that's still not bad since the difference isn't too much. All right, moving on. Let's take a look inside the 2023 Accord because after all, that's what matters, right? Honestly speaking, the 2022 model was also great when it comes to the interior, but the new generation is genuinely even better. The interior has improved drastically. The thing we liked the most was that instead of using the exact same design as the previous generation, Honda borrowed a few things from its other newer models. For instance, the 2023 Accord's interior feels a lot like the new Civic, as it features better, well-padded seats just like the new Civic. In fact, the seats are now more ergonomic and provide proper support to the passenger's torsos. Not just that, the all-weather floor mats, a center console with storage, and wireless charging ports all make it look amazing and super functional on the inside. The HVAC system is controlled by large dials, which is one great example of keeping it clean and organized. Apart from the sleek style, there are the HVAC air vents that are now hidden behind an expanse of honeycomb trim. This similar design can also be seen in the new Civic and the CRV SUV. Honda knows how to perfectly redesign a car to make it stand out. 
While many things have changed and have been upgraded, we noticed that the cargo space stays the same. The 2022 Accord offered a decent 16.7 cubic feet of space, and it's exactly the same in the 2023 version too. So that's a plus, as this much space is pretty much enough for anyone who likes to travel a lot. With that said, let's also talk about the upholstery. Now, there are two types of upholstery that you'll find here. The LX, EX, and Sport trims all feature cloth upholstery, but for others, leather upholstery is all the hype. So, see which one of these will make you feel more comfortable when getting your hands on the new Accord. In fact, the seats are all very well cushioned. Dare I say, better and more comfortable than the previous generations. With that said, the comfort is irrelevant if the legroom isn't enough. So, to accommodate all the passengers in the best way possible, the new Accord has a stunning rear legroom of 40.8 inches. And for the front passengers, the legroom is even better, as you get 1.5 inches more than the rear seats, with a legroom of 42.3 inches. The 2023 Accord features a 111.4 inches wheelbase, making the interior feel as spacious as anyone would need when buying a sedan in this segment. Also, all the trim levels feature front seat heaters and power adjustments, but you'll have to upgrade to the top trims for cooled fronts and heated rear outboard seats. An amazing upgrade that we definitely spend some extra money on. But then there are people who underestimated the infotainment upgrades, so why not look into it? The new Accord's infotainment system is way more modern. The previous generation only had one option for the touchscreen display, as all the trims featured an 8-inch screen. But this time, the Accord has two options, 7 and 12.3 inches. The 7-inch screen is standard in the LX and EX trims, while the upper trim levels come with a bigger touchscreen. Not just that, the whole lineup, regardless of the trim, features an impressive 10.2-inch digital gauge display as well. That's a win-win right there. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay come standard across the lineup but only the ones with a 12.3-inch screen offer wireless connectivity. One reason to go for the upper-level trims, honestly. The high-end trims also offer a wireless smartphone charging pad, a 12-speaker Bose stereo system, and a 6-inch heads-up display. But it's not just the interior and infotainment system that's on point. The exterior looks pretty cool, too. Now, it's fair to say that the new Accord has had its fair share of negative reviews when it comes to the exterior. However, I kind of like it. Some people have made comments to say it looks like a Volkswagen Jetta from the rear, but is that such a terrible thing? Something that you'll definitely notice is that the new Accord is larger with a cleaner design, and to top that off, it's also more sleek. You'll also notice that the new Accord features a low front end and a broader grille, which seems like a nod to the Honda Civic compact sedan. The added length shows mostly in the nose as well as the fastback roofline of the vehicle. Also, the 19-inch black wheels make it look super sporty. We definitely need one like that. Lastly, let's talk about the prices. The best thing about the new Accord is that the prices haven't risen that much, but they are still a little higher than the 2023 Toyota Camry which stands as one of the biggest competitors. For starters, the base model for the Camry starts at a price of about $26,000, while the new Accord has a starting price of about $28,000. The same is the case with the upper trim levels, as the highest Camry trim level cost about $34,000, while the new Accord has its highest trim level start at around $38,000. The difference is there, but if the quality and performance are better in the new Accord, it's all worth it. With that said, compared to the 2022 base model, the 2023 LX has only increased by around $1,000. The LX has a starting price of $28,390. The same is the case with the EX, as its starting price is just a little above $30,000. Moving up the trim levels, the Sport Hybrid will cost you $32,440, while the EXL Hybrid has a starting price of $34,085. The surprising thing is that the Sport L Hybrid, despite being an upper-level trim, costs only about $400 more than the EXL Hybrid. The starting price for this trim level is $34,420. And at the high end, there's the 2023 Honda Accord Touring Hybrid, which is essentially the highest trim level in the lineup. Can you guess how much this trim costs? Well, the starting price for the highest trim is $38,435. And here's the surprising part. Last year, the Touring trim cost $39,545, which means the price has actually dropped. If that doesn't entice you, what would? 
the 2023 Accord is somehow even better than the 2022 model, an impressive accomplishment by Honda. However, before making any decision, we highly recommend you check out the 2024 Toyota Camry.